Are we gonna get up this hill? I've, I've almost given up like three times already. This might be some of the worst conditions I've ever seen on these roads. Welcome back, I'm Tedward and it's a blizzard. It's gonna be pretty rough out here today and I've gotta get home in the M3. Luckily, I'm on my Veretta Stein Windtrack Pro snow tires from Tire Rack. Thank you, Tire Rack. But this is some nice, light, fluffy stuff. I'm really excited, and all those obsessed garage people are gonna hate me for using a snow brush, but you know what? When you're ceramic coated, and it's your daily driver, and you beat the crap out of it in every other way, this is just the way to do it. My goodness, this stuff is stacking up really fast. I'm in Boston, and New York has already gotten hit pretty hard, so we know what to expect, because it's coming up the East Coast. I'm so psyched to drive in this. It's always fun, but it's not without risk. So we're gonna be especially cautious out there. I've already seen a few people get in accidents on the Instagram. We don't wanna be one of those casualties. Make sure that our turn signals are visible, even though it's a BMW. Got my bean boots, not sponsored, although that'd be kind of cool. But actually, this video is partially supported by the friendly folks over at Carly. If you're looking for a Carly OBD2 adapter for your BMW, or actually they do a lot of cars now too, but pretty nice to have. We'll probably throw a check engine code at some point during this drive. It's a BMW and it's nice to know what it is. So if you wanna get 10% off your Carly adapter, you can use the links below and that'll help you. Those are good through the end of February now. All right, we can do a quick little turnaround here. These kids definitely won't have school tomorrow, so I don't think that parking lot's getting used anytime soon. Double check for fools not using their headlights. Don't really want to play that game today. Don't think I'm gonna turn on red here just because you really can't see anything coming and if somebody blows that light, we are we are toast. We are definitely toast, especially if it's a plow. <laughs> so you're just gonna assume that like you live in a world without friction. There's a Bill Nye thing about that. A world without friction, which was a lot of fun. And that's kind of what you're doing when you drive in this, these conditions. You are You are driving in a world without friction. We don't want to get pelted with salt, so let's take it as far over as possible before we get stuck. There we go. All right, let's see how the highways are. We're gonna jump onto the Mass Pike, which of the highway systems in this area, this is probably the, will be the best treated, but we're gonna find out in a second. We gotta make sure we can climb this hill. So far, it's looking good. I never get to drift this because it's not, it, it's, a, it's a fast on-ramp, so to be able to drift this is actually quite a treat. Ooh, this is deep. I can feel it, I can feel it. And we've gotta play the game of, doesn't matter what lane it is because Everything's fair game at this point. All you want to be able to do is, is get there and get there safely. Yeah, this is a good accumulation. So, I mean, honestly, we're getting to that point now where, um, yeah, if something hasn't been plowed recently, it's quite apparent. Look at this. Oh my goodness, yeah, we're gonna have a time. All right, well, fingers crossed that we make it there. I would like to sleep in my own bed tonight. I would like to not sleep in the back of an M3. This 
score one for not lowering the car, I'd be a snowplow right now. Not really the game I want to play. It's probably the thumbnail. Maybe we'll get this going. How's that? I've never drifted onto this highway before. That's kind of fun. Woohoo! All right. Oh wow, this is actually legit like blizzard conditions. This is not good stuff. Man, that's just not gonna be good. Are we really passing like a Dodge Dakota right now? I mean, geez. Gonna get around him like that, there we go. What does that feel like to get passed by an M3? Yeah, this is pretty bad stuff. This is not good. And the strategy here, though, is you can either keep going um, or we could pull over at a rest stop and hang tight and wait for some plow trucks to go by. But yeah, these, these highways are basically untreated. There's nothing, nothing here. All right, let's see if we can safely get around this friend over here. I mean, I've got plenty of traction. I'm not concerned. I mean, we're climbing this hill. That's good stuff. That's important. So that's telling me a lot, but there's definitely folks in way worse shape than me. Let's hope there's nobody just stopped in the middle of the road because I won't be able to see them. That's going to be a problem. Yeah, these this might be some of the worst conditions I've ever seen on these roads. And the other issue is that I have no reference um, other than the guardrails. So I'm just kind of hanging on to the middle. There we go. All right. The strategy too is just not to white knuckle, right? You don't wanna get all clammed up. You wanna be able to just calmly drive the car because the reality is the steering wheel, like I'll put this light on so you can see, you know, we're gonna have some slip back and forth. There's gonna be a little bit of input on, uh, on both sides of this. And we've really gotta be comfortable with that. We've gotta be, uh, we've gotta understand, oh, there's the news vans. Wave to the news vans. Hi guys. But yeah, we've got to be comfortable with a little bit of slip back and forth. Um, because it's just gonna be the situation the whole time. What's nice is if we get a car in front of us, that's gonna help us guide the way a little bit. I know that the, uh, the speed limit they set during these storms is 45. 45 is definitely too fast. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be going 45, that's for certain. So we'll let this Mercedes go ahead, paying our tolls, that's nice. Yeah, you've got your formatic. you do your thing. I don't really want you next to me. I think what he's realizing now is uh, he's gonna have to lead the way. So I'm gonna let him. You wanna pass? Go for it. It's all you. You go for the pass. I'm gonna give him that pass. I have no problem. And then we're gonna try to get back up to speed so we can maintain. Definitely don't like getting past though, just because you know I know that I'm in a situation where holding a lane is a is a dicey thing. So I don't want them. I don't want my dicey lane holding combined with their dicey lane holding to collide. That's not where I'd like to be. That's giving me an idea of how far to the right I am right now, because that is the rumble strip. Yeah, if this was no, if there was no snow tires in this situation, we'd be done, absolutely done. This is already, you know, you're cooked. This is this is as bad as it gets on uh, New England roadway before it's just a full shutdown. 
But here we are out in a BMW M3 in the thick of a blizzard following the 4x4s thanks to our snow tires. Uh, I'm currently running the Vredestein Wind Track Pros. Thank you, Tire Rack. Had you not sent me these, I think we would be cooked. This is easily the worst conditions I've driven in in, in quite some time. I am all about this dude's lane etiquette. <laughs> Even in the middle of a snowstorm, he's letting me know. But like, there's no lanes right now. It's just road. You take whatever piece is kind of safe. I mean, obviously we're gonna stay as far to the right as possible. If anyone would like to pass us, they're welcome to. All right, I'm approaching my exit. I know this because I know where I am, not because I can see anything. This is gonna be interesting. We've got an uphill on-ramp, off-ramp, whatever you wanna call it, and there is a bridge, so we've gotta be aware of uh, frozen road there. So let's jump off here. We'll wish our Audi friend the best. Good luck, I hope you survive. This is deep. Let's do what we can. All right, I'm gonna turn traction off just because I wanna have a little bit of slip. Oh, this is, I think we're gonna be okay. I think I'm feeling okay about this. We've definitely had some plows come through. Thank you, plow drivers. And this is good because this is actually two lanes, typically. Obviously right now, we can kind of not really do that, but yeah, this is a two lane on-ramp. So we've got, oh, this is beautiful. We don't want to be hot shots just because it is very slippery and this is a bridge. But we're gonna have to be cautious getting onto the highway because there's a nice sharp right-hander down there. Uh-oh, why is he stopped? Is he stopped? What am I seeing? That can't be good. Why is he stopped? Did he just go the wrong way? What's up? What do you know that I don't know? You good? I don't know how I feel about that. He's coming back. All right, cool, all right. I wasn't sure if he just saw somebody like crashed in the road and I'm gonna come down here. All right, nice and easy through the right-hander. Does he just wanna follow me? Is that what's going on? Yeah, and this road's probably gonna be worse than the last road, but Let's see, we'll get our traction control back on. I'm feeling better about that in a straight line. And we'll let him take the pass. Enjoy it. Primary source electric, okay. Please keep the power on. So I thought about it being a hot shot and taking the really hilly, nasty route home. Not tonight. Ah, tonight, it's too much, man. This is, this is really bad. I think the move here is to take the exit, not my ideal exit, but it's on a downhill. I don't wanna get stuck on an uphill exit where these trucks are going. That will let me wind my way home in a pretty safe way. Ah, the ominous cemetery as we roll past in blizzard conditions, always nice. Cheating death one slide at a time. Now there's a pretty nasty hill in this town. And this will be the ultimate test. The ultimate test of rear wheel drive and, and snow tires. I can remember using this hill once going downhill because my idiot friend's boyfriend, yeah, think about that. This girl was dating this guy and he wanted to rollerblade down this hill. And I followed him down the hill in a car. And we're gonna find out 
I think we might be at the limits. It's doing it. Oh my God. Are we going to get up this hill? I've, I've almost given up like three times already. This is incredible. Really? Vreda Stein. Oh, I, I'm blown away. I can't believe we're getting up this hill right now. Go, little car, go! Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Let's go! Let's center out. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! 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 Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe this. Legendary. Wow. That's it, man. That's it. I almost gave up like three times along the way there. Good car. Good car, good tires. I am so proud of this car right now. I'm so proud of these tires. Yo, you're cooked, man. Wrong tires. Wrong tires. Like, no joke, that's a steep hill. I can't believe we just made it up that hill. The only reason I did it was because I knew I could spin the car around and go back down the hill if I had to. So, you know, I'll concede. If this was all-wheel drive, this would be a lot less eventful, a lot less dramatic. That would have been an easier time getting up the hill. And... Yeah, I mean, straight up, like, it, it's more capable. But the point I like to make with these cars and these tires is that tires make all the difference. Like, you can do incredible things with snow tires. And if nothing else, you should have snow tires on everything just so you can stop and turn more appropriately. But, you know, with the appropriate tires, your rear-wheel drive sports cars are still, you know, relatively usable in these conditions. Beaver Street. Giggity. Slowest celebratory donut there has ever been. Ooh, this is nicely plowed. This is what you want out of your snow drive videos. That's the stuff right there. Okay, so I've made it home, but here's the million dollar question. I live in this little neighborhood. Uh, have they plowed my driveway shut? Will I get in? This should be interesting. Oh, we're gonna make it. I can make that, that's great. Good job. Well guys, thank you for joining me on this little ride. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to respect the drive. And I will see you in the next one and we'll back in. How clever is that? Oh, that's deep. Oh, I need a more angle. Damn it. Am I stuck in the driveway? Well, at least, at least if you're gonna get stuck, you might as well get stuck in your driveway, right? That's not bad. There we go. That a girl. Good enough. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.